It's turkey time. We're gonna carve this sucker up and we'll show you the best way to do it. You've just roasted a turkey. You didn't stress out about it at all because you did it the easy way and you didn't monkey about with all kinds of other useless stuff. We've got this delicious turkey. Very important, we let it rest. You can rest your meat for 30% of the time that you spent cooking it. That will ensure that when you cut into it, all of the delicious juice is not gonna run out everywhere. That's the key to having a dry turkey. Carve it too soon. Not what you want at all. No one wants dry turkey. You're gonna pour hot gravy on it. That's gonna heat it up. Don't sweat it. There's two ways to carve a turkey. One way is what we like to call the Norman Rockwell way, where you're proud that you've cooked this delicious turkey and you're standing at the head of the table and you're carving it for everybody. That's a great way to carve the turkey. The other way of carving the turkey is the much more practical and efficient way where you'll take the, the meat off the bone, lay it on the cutting board, and slice it nice and evenly. That's a great way to cut the turkey efficiently. You'll be able to lay it out on a platter really nicely. If you're doing it in the back where no one's watching, that's the way I suggest doing it. Okay, method number one, the Norman Rockwell. It's gonna be a delightful thing. It's a performance, so you want the bird whole. It's very easy. You can use a meat fork, or you can be poncy like me and use your tongs. And you just stand here and you carve one smooth slice at a time. Taking the slice, put it on the plate. Keep going. Everyone's standing around admiring how sweet your fancy knife is and how beautiful the turkey looks and how the wine is delicious. Nice thing with what we've done at the beginning, we took the wishbone out. Right now, my knife would be running right into that wishbone as I slice through it. This makes it really easy to get through the meat as you're carving. Listen to that crispy skin. Now I do run into the bone here, so what I do is I just keep moving my knife to the side until there is no more resistance and the knife just drifts right through. When you want to do the legs, you do the same thing. You can just grab the leg and slice the meat off the bone. This method's great if you've got a big turkey and you know you're gonna to have tons of it. You're not gonna be as efficient with getting all the meat off of it. All right, so the second method, I'm gonna actually take the bone off. I'm gonna debone this turkey. I'm using my Hanasuki. This is a knife designed for butchering poultry. So this is time for this knife to shine. So I'm gonna find the keel bone here, the hard one that runs across the breast. And I'm going to slide my knife down until I hit bottom. When I hit bottom, I'm gonna run into something called the keel bone. And so once I hit the keel bone, I'm gonna rotate the knife out and follow along the inside of the carcass of the bird. I gently push out and I follow along the bones. If you're running into the bone, your knife will stop. So should you. So you just keep changing the angle to work around the bone. Then you come to the shoulder and you'll see that you can now cut in underneath on the same angle the breast runs. and take the whole breast off. There's still some leftovers in here that you can scrape off later. If you don't wanna throw them in your stock, they're great for a turkey pasta or something. Now to get the leg off, I just pick up a little bit and run in towards the joint, pulling it back to expose the joint. drumstick. Now we want to get the thigh off and it kind of comes around the back so I'm going to turn the turkey over because there's a piece of meat in here that you really want to get. It's called the oyster meat. So I can grab the end of the thigh bone and start working around. Just drawing a line. I'm going to want to end up cutting through here because that's where the joint is. You find that by moving it around You'll notice I'm not using a ton of force on the knife. 
Great. Now the thigh is off. Great. Now I've got the three main parts of the turkey that we want. I've got the thigh here. The thigh's got a bit of a bone in it that I can take out by running the knife down either side of the bone. And then underneath it. releasing the bone. So I've got this great piece of meat here. You can slice it however you like. I like to take all the meat off the bones first and then carve it with my sujihiki. Turkey sometimes has these sinewy bits along the legs. So sometimes you want to pull those back to get them out or you save them as toothpicks, which is really disgusting. I don't know why anyone does that. Now the bones are out of the meat. I'm just going to take my sujihiki and slice it up into chunks. You want to avoid eating those. When you're doing this in the kitchen, you can just use your hand. If it's too hot for you, you can use your tweezers. But if you are doing it in front of a crowd of people, it is polite to not be touching it with your hands. But in the back, you don't need to be so polite. That's where I like to be. Now we've got all the meat here. I've still got the breast. Nice thing when you take it off is you can actually look to see how the grain of the meat goes along the breast so you can carve it against the grain. That'll add just a little layer of tenderness to it. So you flip it over, you can see that the grain kind of runs this direction. So I'm going to cut across it. First of all, we're going to take the skin off so we don't rip it. So those people who appreciate the skin get to eat perfect pieces of skin. So just gently slicing the meat into nice, even thin slices. Beautiful. Look at that. There you go. Carved turkey. So if you need a knife like what I'm using here for carving the turkey today, it's called a sujihiki. They're fantastic for all kinds of stuff, specifically great with cutting meat. Come down to our shops, Calgary, Edmonton, Ottawa, and Vancouver. Hit us up at hello at knifebar.com if you want some advice or some help on picking out what you need. I hope you enjoy your holiday this year. I wish you a delicious, juicy turkey. And if you're too late to buy a gift, you can always get a gift card. They always show up on time. Thanks so much. Have a great year. We'll see you again soon.